welcome to this tutorial we are going to be doing today that will focus on a few of the different movement types achievable by our body. Now, you may not know it, but you probably use many of these terms in your day-to-day -day life, like when you tell someone you are flexing a muscle, it has a deeper meaning than to just show off your guns. And when we talk about movement types in general, we can fit them all under three distinct categories. The first of which being gliding movements. Gliding movements will be the simplest movements and they occur when a flat bone surface is going to glide across the surface of another bone, uh, whether that movement be backwards or forwards or even side to side. And this type of movement is common in your plane joints that we see in our intercarpal and intertarsal joints and we'll also see that gliding movement between the articular processes of our vertebrae as well. And the second type of movement achievable by our body are angular movements. This is a category that our flexion and extension will fall under and we will do a whole video on these as well. Angular movements will also cover the many movements achievable by the large joints in our body such as our shoulder, knee and hip joint. Uh, simply put, it is when we increase or decrease an angle between two bones. And you've probably noticed by now that I haven't pointed out any of these movement types on any of the pictures so far on the screen. And that is because in this video we are focusing on the third movement type called special movements. Special movements won't fit into any of our previous categories and we will only see them happening in a few joints. So let's have a look at what type of movements uh, these could possibly be. The first one will be pronation. A pronation meaning to turn forward. And if we stand in the anatomical position with our thumbs outward and rotate our palms so that our thumb becomes medial to our pinky, we will see that the radius will wrap around the ulna, as you can see in this illustration here. And if we were to rotate it in the opposite direction so that our palm is now facing upward and the thumb lateral, we will call it supination, meaning to turn backward. And in this position, our ulna and radius are parallel to each other and not wrapped. Now, once again, pronation and supination are special movement types. Our next movement type we can see illustrated here with the hand is called opposition. Now I've shown it here uh, with the thumb and index finger touching together, but when we uh, touch any of our fingers together with our thumb we call that opposition and it's allowed by the unique saddle type joint that we find between our first metacarpal and the trapezium, which is our most lateral of the carpal bones. And once again, I've written that it's a special movement type, and I'm going to write that after everyone, so you can't blame me if you don't remember. So it's a special movement type. The next movement we're going to see is a movement called protraction. In protraction, we're pushing our jaw or pushing our mandible forward, and this forward motion is non-angular. So non-angular anterior movement, and we'll also have non-angular posterior movement, which we call retraction. So retraction is pulling the jaw backwards. So anterior is protraction, and posterior movement is retraction. Now our next drawing down here, we can see a movement called Depression. Depression as in downward movement of the mandible. So once again, we're not creating an angle, we're just moving the entire bone itself downward. An elevation, the opposite, we're moving it upward. So another way to think of elevation is we're moving the bone more superiorly, and we can do this with our uh, scapula as well, when we shrug our shoulders we're moving our scapula uh, superiorly, so we're elevating our scapula. Now our next movement is uh, exclusive to our foot and we call it inversion. Inversion being uh, somewhat similar to the 
supination and the pronation movements that we're going to be doing in our hand but because our, our skeletal structure in our foot is quite different we try to turn the sole upwards so turn the sole of our foot upwards in inversion as much as we can and in eversion we're going to see that uh, similar type of movement except we're trying to rotate the sole upwards in a lateral aspect so inversion we're trying to rotate it upwards medially and eversion laterally and the last two types of special movements we're going to look at is dorsiflexion so lifting our foot upward and this is lifting straight upward towards our shin as if we were trying to get our toes to touch our shin that's dorsiflexion and also plantar flexion now plantar flexion is when we point our foot in the opposite direction so pointing our toes downward as uh, gymnasts and dancers often do once again a special movement type now this will cover all of the special movements that we can achieve with our body and in the later videos we'll cover angular movements and gliding movements as well. I hope this has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.